ब्रह्मांड पुराण पार्ट वन सेक्शन वन पूर्व भाग प्रक्रिया पाद चैप्टर फोर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड द कॉस्मिक एग द क्रिएशन ड्यू टू डिसक्विलिब्रियम of gunas the three states of the self born god brahma description of kalpas sutra said when the unmanifest one is stationed within itself and when the effect universe had been withdrawn the pradhana and purusha remain with their similarity of characteristics retained these two have tamas and sattva gunas they are stationed on a par with each other hence they are said to be mutual perceivers they are not excessive in the manifestation of the gunas laya dissolution should be understood to occur when gunas are in equilibrium it is called creation when there is predominance of one guna over the other the sthiti sustenance was at the time when sattva was predominant certainly the lotus is stationed at the top when the rajas closely follows and stations itself in tamas and sattva it is the rajas that causes the other things to function in the same way as in the case of the water causing the seeds to function the gunas assume inequality and they become stabilized casually it should be known that three divinities were born out of the gunas which are agitated the footnote says though this purana accepts the sankhya theory regarding the creation of the universe being due to the imbalance of the three gunas the personification of the gunas is brahma rajas vishnu sattva and rudra tamas is the puranic way of presentation for the understanding of the process by the masses they are, they are eternal extremely mysterious the souls of everyone and embodied the sattva quality is vishnu the rajas is brahma and the tamas is rudra the prajapati vishnu the enlightener and revealer of the rajas becomes brahma and attains the status of the creator it is from him that being of great vitality that the variety of creation of the worlds takes its origin vishnu as the enlightener and revealer of the tamas stands separate in the from of kala time vishnu as the enlightener and revealer of the sattva stands separate as sustenance that is one who sustains these alone are the three worlds these alone are the three gunas these alone are the three vedas these alone are the three sacred fires these have mutual interassociation these are mutually attached they exist by mutual help and they impel inter se these are mutually coupled these are mutually interdependent these do not become separated even for a moment they do not abandon each other as a result of the unevenness of the gunas the pradhana begins to function at the time of creation at the outset it begins to function from that of vyakta of the nature of sat and asat and presided over by adrishta the unmanifest the pair of brahma and buddhi cosmic intellect took their origin simultaneously from that pradhana of the nature of tamas and unmanifest 
darkness. The footnote says Vayu Purana 5.23 from that pair of Brahma and Buddhi was born Kshetraga designed as Brahma full of tamas and unmanifestness. The Kshetraga and that which is also named Brahma was born from that pair, fully equipped with Karya, effect and Karana, the instruments, the sense organs, Brahma appeared, existed at the outset. He was unparalleled in luster, intelligent, unmanifest, but excellent enlightener, revealer. He is the first embodied being stabilized in retention. He is endowed with unequaled knowledge and absence of passionate attachment. On account of his being unmanifest and because he had kept everything under control since these are three gunas and because all evolved beings are interdependent, Brahma attains whatever he desires mentally. The self-born deity has three states. He has four faces as Brahma, as Kala, God of Death. He is Bhava, the destroyer, as Vishnu. He is the Purusha with thousand heads. As Brahma, he creates the worlds. As Kala, he annihilates them. As Purusha, he is indifferent. These are the three states of the self-born deity. The footnote says the trinity of gods carrying out the functions of creation, sustenance and destruction of the universe but the three states of one and the same self-born deity. As Brahma, he possesses Rajas exclusively. As Kala, he has Rajas and Tamas and as Purusha, that is Vishnu, he is exclusively Sattvika. This is the position of the Gunas in the case of the self-born deity. Brahma has eyes like lotus petals. Kala has the luster of collyrium ever since his origin. Purusha is lotus-eyed with the form of the supreme Atman. The footnote says Kamala Patraksha should be amended as Kamala Patrabha as in Vayu Purana 5.31 31b as it is the description of the complexions of three deities. He is single, he is twofold, he is threefold, again he is multifold. The Lord of Yogins makes and unmakes the physical bodies. The physical bodies adopt different kinds of shapes, activities, colors and features since he has the pastime of remaining threefold in the world. He is called Triguna, one that has three gunas. The footnote says the author of Brahmanda Purana seems to be fond of giving popular etymologies. The etymologies of three guna Chaturvyuha, Atma, Rishi, Vishnu, Narayana, etc., are interesting. Some of these are, however, grammatically correct. For example, Vishnu wish to pervade Rishi. Ra to go. Since he is divided into four, he is glorified as Chaturvyuha, one with four arrays. Since at the end of a Parardha, the Lord lies down, sleeps, since the Lord enjoys the pleasures of the world. Since all living beings always take rest, lie down normally and comfortably in him, he is defined as Atman. <coughs> he is Rishi because he goes everywhere and since the Lord enters the physical body. He is Sarva, all, because he is the master of all. He is Vishnu because he permeates everything. He is Bhagavan since he devoured the Bhavas, living beings. 
he is naga because no agas that is seen abides in him he is parama because he is extremely delighted since he is devatva state of being god he is remembered as om he is sarvagga omniscient because he knows everything perfectly he is sarva because everything originates from him brahma causes the sleep that is perfect rest of naras men whence hence he is remembered as narayana he functions after dividing himself into three he is sakala having the full complement of digits and parts by means of the three gunas he himself creates divorce and protects the prabhu lord himself became hiranyagarbha at the outset and manifested himself indeed he is adya first foremost and swavasa having himself under control he is remembered as aja because he is not born hence he is defined as hiranya garbha in the puranas he is self born and receding he is kala and the foremost among all the castes it is not possible to specify him exclusively in the course of hundreds of manus years the parardha of brahma is remembered as being reckoned in some in so many kalpas he has another period of the same duration and he wakes up at the end of that period thousands and crores of years that had been the abode of kalpas have passed by as many are yet to come the kalpa that is current now is varaha no yet all it is the first kalpa and it is the present kalpa the kings should govern till 1000 yugas are completed